Jumbo, welcome back to Easy Mom Fitness. My name is Waringa. You have asked me to share tips to get in twins naturally. And somebody also asked me if I cheated on my partner since I got twins, yet we do not have a history of any twins. So I'm here to answer the following three questions. How twins are formed, types of twins, as well as the type of twins that I'll be specifically having. So diving into the types of twins, we have two general types of twins. They include fraternal twins or identical twins. Now with the identical twins, what usually happens, and I'm going to be referring to my notebook over here. I made some notes when the doctor told me the type of twins I'm going to be having. So with the identical twins, what usually happens, and I'm going to be demonstrating also with my kids' blocks, building blocks. So with identical twins, um, there's usually one egg. What happens every month with ladies is they release one egg. So if the egg is not fertilized, they usually get the period, right? I'm not going to get into details about that. Maybe another day if you want to know. But most of the ladies already know and the men. So with the twins, this particular egg, if it, it is fertilized and, you know, uh, once it's fertilized, it's called a zygote, by the way. Then later it becomes an embryo and it stays in the uterus for in the womb uterus for nine months then you get one baby but with now with the twins the egg will split into two now we have two clowns of each other they are genetically the same they are either boys or girls so with identical twins you can never have a boy and a girl they must be the same gender because they're genetically the same the same and sort of clones of each other so with uh, identical twins, but there are three types of like how they are formed and, and everything. But I would want a medical professional to come and explain that so that they can use, you know, those fancy biological terms without having to refer back to the notebook like me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish with the identical twins. Let's go to the fraternal twins. With fraternal twins, I have blue block and yellow block. What you, I was looking for a pink one, by the way, I didn't get one. So what usually happens with uh, fraternal twins, the mother will release two eggs. By the way, that's not it, like kawaida. Kawaida is normal in Swahili. It's not kawaida. This is something like a phenomenon, okay? So when that happens, uh, it, it is when the mother is hyperovulating. So when the mother hyperovulates, she will release two eggs. And these two eggs are going to be fertilized by two separate sperms. So one egg is going to be an individual and the other egg is going to be an individual. So they can either be two boys or they can be two girls or girls, like we usually say in Kenya. Um, yeah, so that's what usually happens. And it can also be a boy or a girl. So since um, they are two individuals, are fertilized different differently they're called uh, that pregnancy is actually called dizygotic pregnancy right uh di meaning two yeah two uh zygos zygotes and by the way i forgot to say with identical twins they're called monozygotic if you remember um if you're in kenya or you know in kenya when you go to high school in the first form we usually say you're a mono <laughs> You're, a, you're one, mono, form one, okay? So that's, that is why they are called monozygotic. And these fraternal twins are dizygotic twins. I hope I'm saying these words correctly. I'll just make sure that I write somewhere so that um, you can refer to the spelling. Yeah. So I think I'm done with this one. So my question, your question was tips on how to get twins, okay? Naturally, because of course you can get you know um other ways you know through um i'm not gonna talk about that let me talk about them what you ask naturally so the people who are likely to get the fraternal twins um with the identical is totally random so with fraternal twins what uh, the person who's likely to get are the older mothers 
of which um i don't think i am in that tent at the moment i am sort of like not so young and i'm not also a, a bit older so i don't think i am in that number one like who are likely to get the fraternal twins i think uh, i'm in number two and the number two is african population yeah so if you didn't know i am from kenya kenya is in east africa east africa is in the eastern part of africa meaning i'm in number two tent um i'm an african i'm in the african population so that is how i ended up getting twins yeah and by the way um also the woman will have hyper ovulated okay I think I, you've already known the type of uh, twin that I'm going to be getting, which is fraternal twins. Okay, um, so that means that that specific month I hypovulated and I had two eggs that were fertilized by the sperm cells and they became two zygotes. So then two uh, embryos and now I have two babies two fraternal twins they're not the same they don't look the same they're not even genetically the same they are more of uh, like you and your brother or uh, you and your sister just siblings sharing a womb together and by the way um most of the time um the hyperovulating mom it, it's kind of genetically gotten so there is somebody in my family who was like that. Maybe they were not lucky to get the twins and I was just the lucky one and I got the twins. So that's what, what usually happens. And these twins, uh, by the way, I think I've already told you, uh, they are not genetically the same and they are more of siblings. So it is what it is. Let me just check my notes just to make sure that I got... Yeah, what I wanted to say is... so with now the fraternal twins each one of them let me pick the blocks again this one has it has developed its own placenta and has its own amniotic sac same as this one so at least the the doctors usually say it's like quote unquote a safer pregnancy yeah so because they are both getting nutrients separately everything is just separate yeah so please continue praying with me uh, so that i can you know continue this journey well uh, for now uh, when i make it this video which is friday um 15th january 2021 i am how many months i am a little over five months pregnant do you still want to see or you can see i'll show you you always want to see i know you guys this is how far we are can you see yeah so i'm a little over five months pregnant and uh please walk with me i do remember that last time uh we had agreed that today we're going to be talking about nutrition but i decided that i should address this question first because you asked about it before we move on to matters nutrition and fitness all right i'm still continuing doing by day my regular routine uh which is safe for me that the doctor told me is safe for for me and i'll be sharing that soon i mean we still have like four months you guys right I, i'll be able to still share even if it's two three videos of what uh you should do and what i usually do uh please uh do subscribe like and share this video to all moms dads uncles aunties females males anybody you know that would be interested in motherhood uh fitness as well as nutrition and please remember to comment down below in case like i you know made a mistake or something and you're a medic feel free to comment down below with uh, and clarify also uh, in case you have question or any comments please comment down below and i'll see you in the next video asante sana and thank you thank you thank you